All right, guys, welcome back to the another episode in this series, how to start an online business. So far, we've covered how to set up a website and designing some of the key pages, as well as picking out a theme. And then we went over product creation and setting up the product in ClickFunnels to create like a sales funnel so we can monitor how the product sells on the website. And then now we're gonna set up email marketing so that we can promote the product through email in addition to promoting it on the website in blog posts. And we'll be able to then track two different conversion funnels, one for blog posts, one for emails to see which ones convert better. But historically, email marketing is the higher conversion rate marketing method. So that's why a lot of online business owners will start email lists. And that's what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be setting up an email list for the first time for my new website that I'm starting from scratch, nickfoygolf.com. So what we're going to do is I'm in ConvertKit here. If you want to learn more about them, you can go to asknickfoy.com slash CK. And that will take you to ConvertKit where you can learn about their features. I particularly like them because they've got an easy to navigate uh, dashboard up here between setting up opt-in forms, setting up your sequences, your autoresponder series. And then you can set up automation so that when people subscribe to certain forms, you can make them get tagged, you can have them grouped, um, you can you know have them added or unsubscribe from certain sequences. So automations allow you to do some cool things with your subscribers that you can't do in other email service provider platforms. And then you still have the traditional broadcast emails if you want to send one-time emails out to your entire list. And then the subscribers tab is where you can manage all of your subscribers, import subscribers, delete subscribers. You could check out all your tags and groups. So I've got other tutorial videos on my YouTube channel about ConvertKit. I also have a course that teaches you about ConvertKit called ConvertKit Made Simple. If you want to check that out, that's also linked below at my course page, asknickfoy.teachable.com. So enough with that. Let's go ahead and dive into actually setting up my email list for my new golf site that we're starting from scratch. So if you're new here, this is a brand new website. I'm going to be taking from zero to $500 per month in the short term. And then the long term goal is to get it to $10,000 per month. And you're going to be able to track, you know, by following the series, you'll be able to see me track my monthly income traffic reports, things like that. So here we go in the sequence tab here, we're setting up our email newsletter. So we're going to call it Nick Foy golf. And then let's go ahead and click create sequence. So anytime they subscribe to an opt-in form, they're gonna be automatically enrolled into this sequence, which is gonna be like a welcome sequence. It's got a series of pre-written emails that's gonna to market to them helpful content and eventually pitch my products. So starting off, you wanna have a welcome email. So I'll say, you know, welcome to Nick Foy Golf. And then we'll go ahead and delete out all of the different uh, settings here that they they put in here in the first email to kind of explain if you're new which I'll go ahead and share for you so I can start typing the body of my email in here and then when I'm ready I'll go ahead and turn it on to published we want to turn this down to zero so they get it immediately so the minute they subscribe on my website to an opt-in form they'll get automatically sent the first email in the sequence and then if you want to filter it, we could always filter who gets these emails and who doesn't. But that's more for like product emails later on. If we've already got paying customers, we don't want them to get product pitch emails anymore. So we could filter them out. So that's getting a little more advanced. So we've got the subject, welcome to Nick Foy Golf. And then I would go ahead and I'm going to type in my whole welcome email saying, you know, welcome to my email community. You know, my name is Nick Foy, the founder of NickFoyGolf.com, where I'm going to be sharing golf instruction tips with you uh, to help you improve your putting, chipping, your golf swing. So I'm going to give them, you know, a nice little welcome email. Then after a couple short paragraphs, I'm going to go ahead and give us some free value in the first email. So I'm going to then start listing out some different resources they can they can download so I might have like you know my free 10 day my free 10 short game golf drills PDF uh, and then I might give them access to my private Facebook group which my free version my free Facebook group or have them like my Facebook page or my YouTube channel you know different things like that where they can connect with me on social media give them a couple free resources a free couple free blog posts they can go read that have some good value so that's the welcome email then I'll sign off you know saying talk soon Nick Foy and then that ends the email so then we'll come here and we'll add a second email so this will be email number two 
So it's going to make me type in. So we'll go ahead and say, hey, you can personalize it. So if I want to put in their subscriber's name, it puts this code in here. So whenever they opt into my opt-in form, whatever name they enter into the name field will get put in here. So it personalizes it. So it'll say, hey, you know, Joe or hey, Bob or whatever their name is. So now that I've started typing in some text there, it'll actually let me save the email. All right, so I'll go ahead to add email. So this will be email number two. We can turn it to published. We want to delay it by one day. So the very next day, they'll get the second email. So here you want to start out with some value. So I might do, you know, the five best uh, putting drills to stop three putting. So this would be something relevant to golfers that, that three putt quite often on the putting green. So then we're going to start off the email again with, hey, their first name. And then I'll go ahead and start writing my intro paragraph. And then I'll go ahead and list out the five different drills, how to do them in the email, or what I could do if I don't want the email to be very long, I could give a couple introductory paragraphs, and then we could say, you know, we could link to the article. So read, and then you could put in the article here, five best putting drills to stop three putting. So I could go ahead and highlight this, come here to the link button, and I could put in the link. So then it would be like nickfoygolf.com slash five best uh, I don't know putting drills so whatever that link would be to the blog post out on my website I'd click insert link and now it would link to that blog article on my website I could bold this so that it kind of sticks out so I've got my intro paragraph and then we jump into the article then I could follow up with a few closing statements and then I could sign off by saying you know talk soon Nick Foy and then underneath whatever you want you could always do like a PS uh, you know like check out my free Facebook group or something like that. So you kind of give them one last action they could take down here in the PS section. So that would be email number two. And then I'm going to go ahead and repeat this process. But for the sake of this video, you know, I'm going to go ahead and create all these emails privately outside of this email. I'm just showing you how the basics would be for setting it up. So the next email, you know, it might be three chipping tips to get up and down consistently. So again, I would type out an email, link to a blog post, or I could write the tips out one by one in this email if I wanted to make it a little bit longer form email. All right, and then I could set the frequency so maybe this one comes two days later. So day one, they get automatically subscribed, they get the welcome email. Day two, they get email number two. And then day three, we skip. So then day four, they would get the third email since we spaced it out two days later. And then we'd go through and we'd do that for you know my email newsletter. I'd go write you know six, seven, eight emails. You could make it even longer if you want to make it you know one, where they get one every week. You could write out like a 52 email series where they get one every week for a year. And then what you want to do at some point. So after I give them maybe these first three emails are valuable. You know the welcome email gave them some free resources. And then I had two blog post style emails where I linked to blog articles they could read. So maybe let's say email number four, it's time to pitch my product. So we've been talking about, you know, the short game here. So I could say, check out this short game training aid. And then from there, I could write an email all about some kind of short game training aid. So it could be like an affiliate link that goes to Amazon, where it then links out to like a product on Amazon they could buy that has to do with like a putting training aid or a chipping training aid. So like if they're going to buy like a putting green for their house, then they could, you know, go to Amazon for that. Or if I'm selling some kind of course, like on how to get better at the short game, I could pitch my course product here. So that would be email number four. And again, if somebody's already bought this before, I could come here and filter it out. So I could exclude subscribers from getting this email. So any subscriber that is tagged as, you know, the short game, product purchaser they would get excluded so again that's where automations comes in key so whenever somebody buys products on my website I'm gonna have it integrated with my email software so that it tags them as a customer so that way I can keep track of all my customers in here in my email list and then from there when I'm sending out different emails I don't want those customers to get certain emails because then it would kind of be spammy since they've already bought the product they'd be like why am I getting this email again so that's why you could come in here and filter out those email subscribers that have already bought your products and become customers 
So those are the more advanced things, like I said, you can get into with ConvertKit that I like. Uh, and then, like I said, you can hook up ConvertKit to your checkout software. So when somebody buys on your website, it'll automatically, you know, have them tagged or added to an email list that's dedicated to your your customers only so you could keep track of who's bought from your email list and that's one way to track email conversions so once I get all these emails set up I go ahead and turn them on to publish so that they're no longer just a draft we choose how we want to space out the emails how many days in between each email and then we could filter we've got the subject we've got the body you can add in media if you want to put images in you could put links in you could insert files if you want downloadable PDFs. So there's a lot of stuff you could do here. You can even turn on HTML so it moves it into coding if you want to paste in code. So like a video embed, if you're trying to embed like a video code in there. You can change font size, font color, and you can personalize it so that it says their name or their you know email address or things like that. So there's different things that you can do uh, to write your emails. So we'll go ahead and click save all. Now that we've got our little four email series set up, and again, I'm going to actually go in and write these emails after I get done making this video for you guys uh, so that it's all set up today and that I can move on to the next step. But we're going to go into settings here. So here's where I can choose the, the people that I want to send the email from. So I'm going to set, add send new address. So we're going to say from name, Nick Foy Golf, so they know that it's who it's from. Email address, it'll be nick at nickfoygolf.com. So in another video, I'll actually show you how to set up like a domain email address so that you can have your first name at your domain name. So we'll click add. So now this entire newsletter sequence is going to be sent from this email address. So I need to go in here and select it. So right now it says unconfirmed. So I'm going to just have to fill in one of my other emails for my other website for now. But once I confirm that email address, they're going to send an email to that email address to, to give me a confirmation link. Then I'll be able to select it. So that's how I'm going to set the email provider that or the email sender, the address that I want to send from. Now email dates, I can set dates for the entire newsletter, like the general settings. So if I don't want to send them on the weekends, I could uncheck so that it only sends Monday through Friday. But I'm going to leave them checked so that it sends every day of the week. And you could set what time you want them to send. So I'm going to leave it at 7 a.m. So early in the morning when people wake up, they'll find a new email in their inbox from me. We've got it set to Eastern time in the U.S. And then if you have a default email template you want to set up, you can do so there, but we're just going to leave it as default. Now, if you want to sub exclude certain subscribers from the entire newsletter, so we could go in and individually filter each email, but if you want to just, you know, exclude everybody, you could do exclusions here. So that's one way to do it. So if this email newsletter sequence was only supposed to go out to customers, then, you know, you could exclude or if you didn't want any customers to get this email newsletter series, you could exclude them here so that you don't have to manually go into every single email and click that filter button. This would just be like a general setting you would set up so that it saves time and it would, it would optimize every email in your newsletter, if that makes sense. If you need to duplicate the sequence for any reason, like you're going to run split testing and you want to change up the different emails you send, you could duplicate it and then you could just you know make the adjustments you need. Uh, and then if you want to delete it, you delete it. So we can go ahead now and click update sequence and that'll save the settings. And then lastly, we've got the reports tab. So once I've sent out, you know, once I've had, let's say like a thousand people join my email list, then obviously all 1000 are going to get that first email and then it's going to go on down the list from there. So this will say a thousand sends, a thousand sends, a thousand sends. Now different people are going to subscribe at different times. So this might say like a thousand and then this might say like 990, 970 and it'll get smaller and smaller because people are still going through your email list based on the intervals you set up. So if somebody subscribes today, they'll get the welcome email. Now, two weeks from now, they might have moved on down here to email four because they would have gotten all these other emails by then. Whereas somebody who subscribes two weeks from now, they're going to just be getting email number one. So that's going to you know have different numbers of people moving on to different emails at different times. And then you'll be able to track your open rates, your click rates, how many people are actually clicking links in your emails that go to your blog posts or your products and which emails are causing unsubscribes to happen. So you can go ahead here and you can see all your subscribers unconfirmed, meaning they haven't quite opted in completely to your email newsletter yet. 
and then you can see all your unsubscribers open rate for the entire email newsletter average click rate for the entire newsletter and then this breaks it down email by email so that's pretty straightforward that's how we set up sequences in ConvertKit we just go to the sequence tab click add new sequence we gave it a name and we started writing out our content so again at the end of this video I'm gonna go ahead and start writing out each of my emails and I'll probably start with like a little 10 email sequence where I've got you know three or four probably six of those emails out of those ten one's gonna be the welcome then I'll probably have six other emails that are gonna link to out to six different blog posts to try to drive traffic onto my blog from my email community then they could read the blog post get helpful tips and at the end of my blog post I'll be pitching a product that's gonna link to click funnels which I showed you how to set up in the previous episode and then also at the end of these emails in like the PS section I'll also link to click funnels to try to promote my products as well so we could try to get them either going to the product from the blog post or going to the product direct from the email itself so six or seven valuable emails pitching you know not really pitching a product just just giving tons of value and then I'll probably create a couple emails out of those first 10 that are just solely to pitch the product so once I warm them up for a few emails I'll pitch the product then I'll give them a few more free valuable tip emails and then I'll pitch the product down there in email seven or eight and then if you want to offer maybe like a coupon code in email number nine saying here's your last chance to get the product at a discount before it goes back to normal pricing so that might you know incentivize somebody to take advantage of that coupon and maybe that attributes to some new sales so you could try some different things out like that but as long as you're giving value every couple emails and then product pitch after that and then a couple value emails and then product pitch if you follow that formula you'll have some success through email marketing so one other thing I want to talk to you about today when you're setting up your emails if you use the Google URL campaign builder so I typed in Google UTM builder but it's actually called the campaign URL builder here so if we click this it's actually going to open up the campaign builder for us so what you're going to do is you're going to type in your website URL that you want uh, the the link to go to so what I'm actually going to do is you know back here when I'm linking out to my blog post instead of typing in the blog post link what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like copy this link right now and I'm gonna go ahead and delete it so this links gonna take them to my blog post the five best putting drills so if this was the URL that takes them back to my website to my blog post we'll go ahead and copy it and we'll delete it so that's the link I want to paste in here so that's the link they need to be taken to now campaign source this is where the traffic's coming from so the whole purpose of doing this is so that when I go into my Google Analytics I can see that you know so and so had you know my blog post five the five best putting drills had 50 views this month and it'll actually show me that you know 20 of those views came from ConvertKit from my email so I'll actually be able to track how many people from my emails are actually clicking through to my website and the same thing when I put product links in my emails I'll be able to track which emails people are actually clicking those product links and which emails are actually producing sales so this is the best way to track sales that come from your emails without having to go through a bunch of analytics this is just the quickest way to do it so I'll type in the, the blog post campaign source it's coming from ConvertKit whereas you know other sources could be Google search Pinterest Instagram Facebook in this case we want it to be ConvertKit medium it's an email and then campaign name is the name of the email so for each individual email you want to put the title of the email in there so for the first one five best putting drills we'll call that email number two so that would be the five best putting drills and then for the next one you know if I go down here to the next email then I would put in you know a blog post link here so if we're doing let's say I don't know in this case it was the three chipping tips so then we would click here we'd click link insert link it would be HTTP you know nickfoygolf.com slash three best shipping tips so that might be the URL that goes to that blog post so again I would copy it I'd come back in here this time I would paste in that link instead and then I would change this to say email number three and I would change it to you know the three best shipping tips or whatever so that would that would be what I would do here now once you do that then you just have to come down here and it will create this link for you so it's got the link that it's taken them to and then it pastes in all that other code that tells the campaign source campaign medium campaign name so all you got to do now is copy this link 
come back into your email and instead of having the the normal link go into your blog post I would just paste in that Google URL link that they built for me click insert so now anytime anybody clicks on this link it's got all that tracking code attached to it so it's still gonna take them to my blog post but it's got all this tracking code so that I can now see in my Google Analytics where that traffic was coming from and I could see that it came from ConvertKit so that I know it's you know at the end of the month I can filter my analytics and see how many of my website traffic views I could break it down post by post or I could look at ge in general so if my website got you know 10,000 views for the month I could see that a thousand of those 10,000 came from ConvertKit from all of my emails combined and then I could go in and look at each individual email how many uh, out of those thousand people which emails were sending the most traffic so that's the best way to do it build a, a Google URL campaign link paste in the link to your blog article or you could paste in a product link here and then you could just copy that so in this case if I was gonna you know paste in my click funnels link you know whatever it would be I'd probably create a little pretty link so there's a plugin on WordPress called pretty link so it could be something like nickfoygolf.com slash 21 days and that could be my little pretty link that that redirects them to my click funnels sales funnel so I'd paste that in and then I would type in you know email number let's say this was the product pitch email so it might be email number seven and we could type in product pitch 21 day program so that I know you know what that email was that that way it tracks where the sale came from so I know that it's that 21 day product email so then I'd come back in here and let's say we had you know here down here email number seven was the product pitch email so I could go ahead and paste that link in here so 21 day winter training program ah. So let's just say this was the link for this email. And again, I'm gonna go in and actually write these emails. I'm just showing you real quick. So I paste that in there. And then now all they can have to do is click that link and it would take them over to uh, to ClickFunnels, to my sales funnel. So I'd wanna highlight all this, click add link again, insert link, paste in that URL, click insert. And now this link becomes a link that takes them over to ClickFunnels and then in my Google Analytics, Let's say somebody ends up buying a product in ClickFunnels. They go through my whole sales funnel. They buy the 21-day the winter training program. Now I can go into Google Analytics and I can specifically search out you know, these different product links to see how many sales resulted from them and which emails attributed to the sale. So that's getting a little advanced today, but I just wanted to show you what I'm going to be doing now in the next step of setting up my website to get ready for launch day on November 1st. So, so far we've designed the website and I started setting up my first product, which is the 21 day golf winter program. That was in episode two. Episode three was all about the sales funnel, setting up my funnel to actually sell my product. And now episode four here, we're talking about the email sales funnel where I'm actually going to be selling it through email marketing. So again, if you want to try ConvertKit and, you know, follow the steps that I did today, you could learn more about them by going to ask nickfoy.com slash ck or you could also type in convert kit it's spelled convert and then kit for kit but i made an easy pretty link for you guys if you just type in asknickfoy.com slash ck you click enter it's going to redirect you over to their website and that is an affiliate link that's going to you know tell them i sent you and it's going to earn me an affiliate commission uh, at no extra charge to you so it's helping me out if you guys want to intentionally use my link to try to help me get that commission from convert kit and support my business so i thank you for that in advance so again after you set up your sequence and you start writing out your emails the next step is to add in links to your blog posts or links to your product pages so you want to come in here and build a campaign builder url for it and then come down here and copy the link that it builds for you and you can come back in here and paste it in as your link in your email. That way you can track your email subscribers and understand what links they're clicking, what pages they're going to, what products they're buying, and you'll be able to monitor all that in your Google Analytics. So if you don't have Google Analytics yet, you can just go to Google Analytics, type that in, and it's free to sign up. So right here it is, it's, and then you'll integrate it with your website. So once you log back into your WordPress website, You'll just download a plugin called Google Analytics by Monster Insights, and it'll have you connect the two so that you can start tracking your website traffic that comes to your website. 
and then you'll be able to get detailed analytic reports at the end of every month, every quarter, every year to see where that traffic's coming from, how many people are coming each month to your website, and where you know what what the sources are. If it's coming from your email list, is it coming from Pinterest? Is it coming from Google? So that's what we'll be setting up in a few days. Here I'll be setting up all those analytic tracking. Uh, in Google Analytics as well as some other plugins and then at the end of every month I'm going to be publishing a report for you guys you know showing the journey to build this blog from scratch from zero to five hundred dollars per month and you'll be able to see my traffic stats that I'm tracking in Google Analytics so I'll give you a detailed income traffic report showing you how much traffic came by that month how many sales that website did you know where the sources were if they came from my email or if they came from Pinterest or Google so you'll be able to see all the detailed analytics that I'll be tracking on my brand, Nick Foy Golf. So thanks so much for tuning in to this episode where I showed you about setting up email marketing for your business as well as showing you how I'm doing it for my brand new website, nickfoygolf.com. Keep, you know, keep subscribing or uh, keep liking these videos. Keep up to date with the latest episodes uh, by, by, you know, subscribing to the channel and turning on the updates. That way you'll get notified when a new lesson comes out in this series. And until then, make sure to check out other videos on my channel. I've got lots of free helpful tips for you guys. And if you're interested in any of my paid courses, you can always go to asknickfoy.teachable.com. So that's where I host my courses is on the Teachable School website. It makes it easy for course providers to create courses and for students to enroll. So you can come check out the different courses I offer. I've got the ConvertKit course right here. If you want to learn how to use ConvertKit step by step, all the advanced features that we didn't even cover today, you'll learn here in the ConvertKit course. And then if you want to follow the 30 day system I'm following right now to get Nick Foy Golf all set up and ready for launch day, that's going to be taught in this course called Profitable Blogger. So you can check those out at your own time. I will link to them below in this video. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode of this fun series that I'm having a lot of fun creating for you. Take care.